Tuts. The first thing you're going to want to do is head over to Steam. Make sure you have Daisy installed. Then go to Library and Tools. Scroll up to find Daisy Server. Then you're going to want to install the server. Once the server is installed, go back to Library, Tools, go back to your DAISY server, go to Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files. Now in this folder we're going to do two things. We're going to need the server config, and we're going to need a .bat file, which I've provided you in the description below. You can right click and edit it with Notepad++, which I prefer. The .bat file is a big command line for your server, telling it what to do and when to do it. Make sure you change the command line dash profiles equals from D to whatever local disk you use. Just take that file and drag it and drop it into your server folder. Now let's work on the server config. Go back to Steam. Go to DayZ. Run DayZ Launcher. And we're going to go into the parameters section. Now you're going to want to set your launch parameters. So type this into the command line. Dash config equals server dz.cfg. This tells the DayZ launcher to read your config file. It also prevents error 2302. Make sure your server address is 127.0.0.1. Make sure your server port is 2302. And if you'd like to add mods to your server, this is where you would put them. We will go over that in another video. Your server automatically comes with a config file, but I've provided you with one in the description below. So just take that and drop it into your server folder and hit replace. Now we're going to customize your config file by editing with Notepad++. Here you can add your own custom server name. You can add a password. You could change the player count, how many people are allowed in your server, and you can add it a first person only. There are also other customizable options, such as day and night cycles. You would do this here. Just read the values next to it, and it'll tell you how to do it. The rest of the information I have provided below does not come with a standard config file. It actually helps your server run better. Make sure you save any changes that you've made. And now we're going to run the bat file I provided earlier. And your server is going to launch. If you get an error at the top of the box that says error 2302, make sure that you've properly added the command line that we talked about earlier in the parameters section in the DAISY launcher. Also check to make sure your server port and server address is correct. Once your server box says zero players, you can just hit play in the DAISY launcher. Now, if you added a password to your server, that will show up here. If you don't remember your password, go back to your DAISY server files. You edit the config. And look for what password you set. Here we set 1. You put 1 in here. And hit OK. Now you're in your own custom DAISY server. If you want friends to join you, you'll have to set up port forwarding, which I'll go over in another video. 
I hope this helped you guys out. If you have any questions, leave them below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like my tutorials, so that way I can do more, and I'll do them quick like this, and to the point. Until then, this is Itchy, and I'll see you out there, survivors.